real quick how you would make an assessment if you've never made an assessment. When you're in AWARE, you'll come over here on the left, click Assessments, and you just will click to create a new teacher test. If you have district level, you'll have two separate spots, new teacher test and new test. That's why I have multiple years may just say uh, create a new test. But anyway, you'll click uh, there, then you'll click create a new blank test. Click next. You're going to give it whatever title. You're going to give it whatever grade level. It does not matter right here what grade level you put. That's just where it's going to store it. Um, I'll give it to Heritage. And here is where you'll pick what course you're using. So this is where it actually pulls the standards from. So I'm going to pick Social Studies. I'm going to pick uh, U.S. since Reconstruction. If you happen to be doing a test for like a psychology or something like that, you may get something where there's not actually standards. Um, here you have your general stuff. You could rename it here. You could say, no, it should go in a different area. That's again for storage. Excuse me. <coughs> Um, then you've got the grade level if you want to put different values down here for um, you know what's satisfactory and things like that. Um, here if you needed a different course you could change that. Here is where if you wanted um, so like I'm gonna say interactive that's where when they take it online it's the full test. You could also do this option here which would be they would just get a little bubble sheet online when they pull it up and leave it like that. And then you go to questions, pretty simple. You click search item bank, and then right here you're going to have all your standards. So you can do it by standard. U.S. History has a bunch of 8th grade standards. That's what all those are. And then you get your actual standards. You could click a, a keyword. So let's go with Roosevelt. Um, and then it'll pull up questions. And pretty simple. Uh, you click right here to see what the questions actually are. You can either click this little plus sign to add, boom, I clicked it, there it went, or you could click, say you wanted a couple of them, you could click these little, click add selected, and you'll see underneath, and then I'm going to close. So now I've got a test, and then you can add, uh, etc. I'm going to click save. You would eventually share or share with the team if you needed to do that. Um, and then you'd click active right now. It's actually pending, um, but you would click active and it would be ready to go. And that is how you create a test.